We got Alex Perez back here on the program. He's going to be taking on Joseph Benavidez at the Ultimate Fighter Season 28 finale on November 30th. Alex, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, man. Uh, you know, just waking up, just had breakfast, uh, just relaxing right now before training. Well, I appreciate you doing this. Uh, for those who don't know, we actually did this interview last week and uh, the file ended up being corrupt. So I got to give you props right off the bat for not only getting up early, but doing this interview again. So I really appreciate it. And one of the things you mentioned last time when we talked was that you were supposed to fight on the UFC Denver card against Mark De La Rosa. For those who don't know what happened there, how come you didn't end up fighting on that card? Um, they offered me a fight against Mark De La Rosa. I was like, hey, I can, uh, I'm down to fight. They're like, Okay, uh, you know, I was like 35s, right? They're like, yeah, 35s, you know. I was like, okay, because I can't make 25s in a week. They're like, all right, yeah. Um, waited, started uh, started running, you know, starting to like kind of diet down a little bit more before I made, you know, the last cut. And then uh, all of a sudden they go, oh, no, he uh, didn't want to fight. Uh, they turned it down. Um, I don't know who turned out. I don't know if it was him, his manager, or who it was, but they turned it down and um, – so then I was like, all right, uh, that's fine. So and then I just kind of went back to training. Okay. And so what's going through your head when he gets that win over Joby Sanchez? Are you kind of like, damn, that could have been me getting the win over him? Uh, yeah, you know, I was kind of like, oh, man, like, the, I mean, he fought a good fight. You know, Joby's my buddy. I kind of thought, I hadn't thought Joby won. I thought he won the first round and and the last round. But, um, you know, I see you don't leave it in, in the judges' hands. So I was kind of upset, but uh, it is what it is. We'll get our time to fight. And, and you mentioned, uh, you know, last time we spoke was that, uh, you know, obviously the news about the flyweight division folding. You actually saw that online. Like, you didn't even hear that from your manager or anything like that. Uh, you know, what was your reaction when you heard that? Are you Were you worried at all at the time that your job might have not been safe? Uh, no, nah, I think uh, I think I'm a big enough flyweight that I can, uh, you know, move up to 35s. Obviously, I have to change some things in my game, um, but I feel like I'm big enough so I can move up and uh, still be successful at 35s and still make a run there. Were you surprised they cut Shorty Torres, uh, one of your opponents? I, I know that, you know, Shorty, that was his, his first career loss. Um, you know, he'd looked pretty good up until then. Uh, he's a young guy. I, th I thought that was a little surprising in terms of some of the cuts they had. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, the one thing that sucks if they get rid of this flyweight division is uh, people are going to be without a job and uh, that's, you know, that's the last thing I want to see. Um, I was kind of surprised a couple guys got cut, but Hey, uh, you know, it's the company's decision. I mean, that's the only thing, that's the only thing I can say. I mean, it sucks, but that if they want to get rid of you, they want to get rid of you. Right. No, I hear you on that. Um, have you been told at all that you have to win this fight? I mean, or, or are you pretty much safe in the bantamweight division? Because I was going to say, you came off a great win. I imagine you're probably in a good spot. Um, I'm pretty sure in a good spot. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, I really don't worry about that. I let my manager worry about that, but... I mean, uh, he didn't tell me it was like, oh, it was a must win, guarantee, you know, stay in kind of, uh, you know, thing. Um, but, you know, I'm just going out there to fight. No pressure. Just go out there, have fun like I've been doing. And uh, hey, whatever happens, happens. Uh, whatever happens with the flyweight division, it happens. If, you know, they decide to can me, they can me. If not, then great. Last thing on the flyweight division, because I know you're kind of sick of talking about it. Uh, TJ Dillashaw is going to be fighting for the flyweight title. Just your reaction when you heard that news, because I thought that was a little bit surprising with the fact that it seemed like the division is folding, but yet here we have a title fight. Um, I kind of get it. You know, TJ has the credentials as a champion. You know, he's had the title before. He's won it again. He's defended it. Uh, so who just uh, won? So uh, in a very close fight. So I think um, uh, I think it's the right thing to do. You know, give him a chance to win two titles, even if they're closing out the division. Uh, I don't feel like Cejudo to go out to go 35s. I feel there, there's a lot of guys in, in front of him that I think he would have to fight for an one contender spot unless he be, unless he beats TJ, moves up, and then fights TJ again. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. And I mentioned it's been a rough rough couple of weeks for the flyweights, but I'd say it of anyone over the last couple of weeks, you got the best news. You're fighting Joseph Benavidez. Uh, you know, just uh, where were you when you found out you had him as an opponent? Because obviously he was supposed to fight Ray Borg on the Denver card. Um, I was just I was I was just at home. I think I found out like uh, one of my days off. I was at home uh, relaxing, and uh, so I found out he needed an opponent on Wednesday morning, I believe, when everybody found out that you know Ray Borg was out. So I kind of text my manager. I was like, hey. Uh, I'll fight him this weekend, and th and my manager Jason was like, "What? Was like, are you sure?" I was like, "Yeah. Um, why not? You know." He's like, "All right." And then um, uh, I said, "Let me get back to you." So then they offered him the fight, 
Um, he was already close to weight or on weight or something like that, so I ended up turning it down, which is cool. So I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, okay. And then uh, Friday, actually, Friday they called me like, oh, uh, you know, you want to fight Benavides, um, uh on the 30th? I am like, sure, why not? Uh, let's do it, you know. Um, I don't know why it's at 25s, but uh, it's still it's not going to matter. Um, I was kind of hoping 35s, but... Uh, yeah, so I found out when I was just relaxing at home. Yeah, so I'm sure the second you found out, you'd want to start cutting that weight because I know you, you do cut a lot of weight to get to 25. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm pretty like good on dieting and stuff, you know. I eat out here and there, um, but, you know, I wasn't too far off where I was like, oh, no, I can't make 25. So, I mean, the weight cut's going good, so I'm not I'm not worried. What about Thanksgiving? Because obviously that's coming up here. You got to sort of navigate through that one. Kind of, I mean, the timing's not great. Let's be honest. Oh no, the timing sucks. I love Thanksgiving. I love to eat, but uh, you know, it's a sacrifice I have to make. Uh, I can have Thanksgiving any, uh, you know, after my fight. You know, I'm staying an extra day just to honestly eat and pig out, not even to go out. I'm just gonna eat, and uh, you know, I'm excited. I, it's a sacrifice, small little sacrifice. I've had to do all through high school for wrestling and college, so it's not that big of a deal. Are you working with perfecting athletes again for this camp? Uh, yes, uh, I work with them. Uh, you're basically like year round. Uh, great, they're awesome. I can text them whenever I want, ask them questions, uh, anything I need. Uh, they're always there to help. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, let's talk about training camp. Uh, a lot of big news from your camp lately, just with some signings and everything. So I imagine the morale must be pretty good, especially after Chito Vera's win uh, this past weekend. Uh, yeah, man, uh, Chito, you know, went went into Argentina and uh, handled business. Um, kind of shaky first round but you know second round he stepped it up put it on uh and um it was it was awesome it was awesome to see see that you know um he's been through a lot this year coming off you know coming off two losses now he has two wins in a row puts him back in uh you know maybe again a top 15 guy yeah no i agree with that um who, who else are you training with the team oyama right now that's helping you get ready for this fight um then we got uh lewis samoka he's uh just signed his usc contract he's in china right now he took a final week notice uh he's out there right now so he was in this training camp and then i got uh fernando padilla uh, up and cover 45 and then we got a couple other guys uh like christian uh brent primus um carlos Spars is in there uh we have everybody just just the user everybody's in there uh all the time uh, helping out that's what I like. that's what I love about our team we're always there to help each other out so as far as your corner I imagine Colin Oyama and uh, is Jason going to be in your corner as well your manager um it'll be Colin Oyama Chito Vera and uh my actually my coach that got me started in the sport uh, he was in my Fresno corner and he's gonna be in this corner in Vegas uh, his name's uh Mito Morales he's the guy that got me started in MMA how do you see this fight playing out on November 30th honestly I'm expecting fight of the night uh, I mean he's a tough guy I'm tough. We're gonna both come in good shape. We both cut a fight, so it should be a good one, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to get in there and do it. You know, um, he's he's a guy that I've watched through high school and a guy that you know. I mean, I've met him a few times. A really cool guy, humble guy. I don't think I've ever heard anything bad about him. Um, just a down to earth guy, but you know, when he gets in that cage, uh, he's a different person. He, you know, he's probably why the lightweights are very well known. He's the only guy, smaller guys that can knock people out. So uh, I'm excited to fight this guy. I'm expecting 15 minutes of nonstop action back and forth. Okay. And as the UFC told you the implications of this fight, you mentioned it's a flyweight. I mean, it seems like the division's going away. Um, you know, where do you feel like a win over? I mean, Benavidez, no matter what division, I think is a good win regardless because he's fought for the title twice. Um, not sure. They haven't really said anything. Uh, you know, I really don't ask. I just kind of just do my thing. It's like, I'll fight. I'll leave the rest of it up to my management, right? Yeah, yeah. man. I... I I'm like, I don't get paid to think too much. I get paid to fight. So, you know, I let my manager and my management uh, team figure that stuff out. And whatever happens, happens. Uh, like I said, I've never turned down a fight in the UFC. Um, so whatever they offer me next, I'm down. And we're down to watch this, man. What a great card this is. November 30th, it is the Ultimate Fighter Season 28 finale. Alex, uh, always a pleasure, man. I appreciate you having me start off your day here. Or maybe, I can't remember if you get up a little bit earlier, but I always forget. Uh, but either way, I appreciate the time. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours. Um, you guys can find me at Alex Perez MMA. That's on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, I want to thank all my sponsors, uh, Milk and Eggs. I want to thank uh, Virus, uh, AFib Bakery. Um, a, a ATTC, 
And then uh, Miss Mary Jane CBD, all you guys, thank you guys. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Um, I want to thank uh, my, one of my newest sponsors. Uh, he's uh, actually one of my uh, good friends. Uh, he's a rapper now. He's doing big things, uh, Fashion the Rapper. Got a shirt on right here. You guys go check him out on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that. Thank you guys for all the support. I would not be here without you guys. Uh, team, my family and friends that are coming out to the fight, thank you guys. Uh, without your support, like I said, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. Team Oyama, training partners, coaching staff, just everybody. Just thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you guys.